just like please don't be late. <laughs> um, so let's 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 take a look at the uh, awesome. So I think I think best thing to, to let you guys do is kind of talk. What is the car that we've got? So yeah, we are. So we're in an, a different player house from uh, last week, and we have got a Jeep Grand Cherokee Track Hawk. Uh, he read from the top of the screen. <laughs> uh, what Andy uh, just did there um, is he applied one of the new off-road uh, body kits that we have brought to the game in Forza Horizon 4. I am reliably informed there are about 12 of them in the game that you can apply to uh, some of the more extreme off-road uh, vehicles that are great for, for the world of Forza Horizon. Um, and Andy is sporting one of them. Uh, now, as he leaves his house um, with little care for property damage um, <laughs> and, and we we are in uh we're in the highlands we're in the yeah, the yeah. north of the map which we haven't really shown anyone uh, yet uh in an area of the world that's kind of bits of beautiful scotland right yeah so there's there's two specific areas that we we used as reference so there's glencoe uh, which people don't know like google that place it's an incredible uh, looking part of the world amazing vista so it was a real obvious choice for us in terms of location selection but there's also a place called rannoch moor which again is another scottish location so this is a, a bit of a mashup of those two areas uh, which we've, we've sort of selected the best bits from and created this section of the map it looks uh, it looks stunning yeah and also you'll notice we wanted to show you guys something about the, the verticality that we've hinted at before when it comes to this particular part of the, uh, well, this particular game, especially versus what we had in Horizon 3. So we really listened to the community. We, we knew that the guys wanted something that had a bit more verticality associated with it. Uh, that's a barn find right the, there yeah, as well. No, the um, spoilers, yeah, that's where that guy is. The, um, the, first, the, <laughs> first, the first one, you need, if you need to find, the, if you're obsessed with finding all the barn finds, they're in Horizon 4. And that's who, the, who built that at the top of a mountain? Mm -hmm. it, it makes, it where makes else would you put one? This, this guy, this guy, guy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, as Ben was saying, like much more vertical uh, world than I think we've ever built before, um, which is great when you're when you're showing off the, the Scottish Highlands and the Lake District. Uh, it really benefits uh, from it. And I, I know our fans have been uh, asking for more mountains, no, more uh, mountain roads, switchbacks, mm -hmm. and certainly this game uh, delivers them, which is, which is wonderful. Well, it's great with off-road vehicles as well. And I remember last week, he promised something to the viewers, right? You said it's gonna happen, all right? And it's taking a look at the world map for the first time, because like, you see it, it's a huge world. Like, can you talk us It is a huge world, yeah. So we're gonna sh uh, show by popular demand uh, the world map. So that's where we are, so the northeast of the world. Um, and as we move south, we're down into this sort of lake district, which we showed you quite a lot of uh, last week. You can see, I think this is a pretty full map. I think I'm right in saying that we've kind of unlocked a lot of stuff uh, that's on uh, on the map there. And people will see, I think, the things that they're looking out for. I know a lot of people were asking about uh, the Goliath and whether it was going to return. Um, if you if you notice there, uh, it has. Um, a really cool thing I think we've done this time, is, as well as the Goliath, we have a bunch of really massive routes. There's the Gauntlet, there was the, um, I forgot the name of the other one, the Titan is there as well. So there's lots of uh, really big routes for people who like big routes in Horizon games, which is great. And there's Edinburgh. And Edinburgh, yeah. Yeah, which we are seeing. Also, there's loads of comments as well, because one of the big things I've noticed is trees. All right, so Ben, you'll be happy when it's <laughs> agreeing with you in the comments. Are you lusty gaming? I love trees, Ben. Uh, so you've got loads of tree lovers it's across it. Me. It's not just me. It's I don't blame They do look incredible as well. Uh, but we're actually getting up to a bit that I think everyone gets really excited about in Horizon 4. It's a big part of the game. Showcases. So Ben is going to leave us for a little bit now. Yeah. And we're going to be joined by Aaron, who's going to talk us through showcases. So thank you very much for the, talking to us about trees, Ben. Uh, <laughs> uh, but thank you, Aaron. Talk for joining us. I think we'll see you now with the, the behemoth. All right, let's get into it. I'm, I'm kind of, because I, I saw, saw a little bit of this earlier and I was like, oh, this, I think it's the first reaction you always have, you just kind of like scream like, whoa. Uh, it's like when, the, you know, when like the music comes in. So presumably nobody knows exactly what we're going to be uh, racing just yet and it's revealed here in this sort of pre-race cinematic and obviously uh, at the top of a mountain in Scotland it is a hovercraft. It is a hovercraft, <laughs> the perfect natural habitat <laughs> of the hovercraft. Um, so. Showcases are, are quite challenging from like a dev point of view and like this one we, we, we spend months on them really and they, they go around like all the different teams. So from working on it I'll go away and then come back to it and 
VFX have been on it or Cinematics have done some, some bits at the start of the race and stuff so it, it changes as it goes on um, and with with all of that it's really it, it is really a team effort for these yeah. big showpiece events that we have. It must be really exciting with seasons as well, just kind of like seeing them. So, right, shall we kind of get straight into the, yeah. straight into it? Don't crash this time, Andy. Right. <laughs> right, there's the, right. Also, guys, remember, if you have any questions about showcases, <coughs> do drop them in the chat as we kick this one off. <laughs> right, so, do you want to talk us through it a little bit? Yeah, certainly. So, we've started up at the top of the mountain, um, as we saw, and we're coming down into this beautiful valley big slow-mo jump there towards the viaduct um, we had a we had a previous route for this was down by the lakes which is the general direction we're heading um, but in true horizon style it wasn't it wasn't there wasn't enough it wasn't down a mountain it needed it needed some extra extra special sauce on it and uh, throwing a hovercraft and this wonderful Toyota truck down the mountain. I think we've all so. thought at one point, what, what would it be like to race a, a hovercraft Exactly. Down the exactly. And, uh, and now, we, now we get to find out. A um, bit of inside baseball, actually. Um, the hovercraft was actually, we built it for Horizon 3, and we had an idea for a showcase using it in, in that game, which we, we just never really got it to work, I guess, is, yeah. the, um, is the thing. Um, and it was really only when we sort of started playing um, oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, um, when we started uh, uh, at, like playing around with it in, in this world, um, again, you know, like around this sort of area of the world in particular, um, that it started to really come together. And obviously, making it smash through lots of stuff um, yep. that that worked as well. Being being the size of what it is and, and how hovercrafts move around, they do drift mm. a lot, and um, which is going to prove a bit of a challenge for a player, as most of the showcases in previous games have been say like planes or so that you've either been like them flying over the top of you whereas this is actually like front and center it's right in the race route with you it's um, reacting, yeah. which is which is another another thing to, to deal with it's just wrecking absolute havoc which is a shame because we're coming down to um thanks to you <laughs> 360. <laughs> Right. Cool. Have we, uh... Excellent. Right, so remember this, guys, this is a developer...